All right, we are playing Casino One, which is also known as the Binding of Isaac, depending on, <laughs> you know, if you're if you're part of the Twitch culture here or not. We've been knocking out some incredible runs lately. Today's run will be Tainted Samson to Mega Satan. As I get the bet here, did I ever tell you about the time, like in high school, I used to sleep with the radio on? One time I woke up at like 3 a.m. because they played an ad for Rob Zombie's new movie, House of a Thousand Corpses. And uh, I, I just woke up to some psycho screaming, Dr. Satan, Dr. Satan, at 3 in the morning. It scared the shit out of me. I mean, scared the poop out of me. I got, I got it. People have noticed I've been swearing a little bit more. Uh, I'm swearing more because it's funny. Uh, but when I uploaded the Twitch VODs to YouTube yesterday, they do like an algorithmic Google DeepMind ad check. And uh, it was like, we have found one restriction. Which I think is that you said the F word too much. So I'm like, okay, fine. So if, there's an, if there ends up being an age-gated Isaac episode, <laughs> then you're under the age of... Uh, 18, I apologize. Don't look at my streak. It's the only one I got, okay? Um, are you sure it wasn't the, the Nintendo music? I'm too sophisticated f to get caught by the Nintendo music algorithm because of the fact that, uh, they, I just place, I make the game, uh, Super Mario 64. Look at that shot, man. Okay, Tainted Samson to, ooh, Mega Satan. So we don't take deals with the devil. Yuan, you, Yuka, 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 Yuan, you, Yuka, you, Yuka, Yuan. I flam my, okay, we got just family friendly. We don't have to, we don't have to resort to swearing. Look at that. We don't have to resort to swearing to have funny jokes. Don't have to. Whoa, 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 did you, did you see he got stuck in the freaking pipes, man? On the other hand, do any of these frickers ever f come out of the freaking walls? Hey, Sub Serial, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Much appreciated. You see the angle we got on this? Crazy. Dang, Giesling doesn't have to cuss in his streams. If anything, I admire the not swearing because it adds one extra level of humor. Oh, I thought maybe we could get it. And the the level of humor is when you inevitably get so mad that you feel like you absolutely must swear, it gets, like, even funnier. I don't have that tool in my toolbox. I wish that I did, but... I mean, like, whenever Dan says, like, darn, you know what he's thinking. In his head, he's like, you know, you get back here, you're a fake and a fraud. You're not an intellectual, you're a fake and a fraud. How do you even pronounce this? Gnocchi man? <laughs> Gnocchi man? I don't know anything about the rapper uh, Gucci man, except... Uh, He's very good on the big boy song Shine Block Us. Even though the music video puts all his parts in black and white, so it looks like it's an immemorium. Can't be tripping about the paper because the safe is not so safe. The piggy bank got legs and feet and can't get up and walk away, short A. With the southern drawl, awkwardly I spray like the back backside of a skunk. Or a pistol with uh, something. I can't remember the rest of it. Great album, though. One of the best to ever do it. I can't believe we got you. By the way, Eddie Room, you love this. Uh, well, we did it wrong. The new Shang-Chi soundtrack is lit. Bro, just... Uh, come on. Disney Plus, I'm paying you nine bucks a month. Just release the movie for free. <laughs> I did hear it's very good. Again, I, I'll be the first to admit, there's no reason not to, um, you know, there's no reason for me to try to deny this. It's all on video. After seeing the trailer, I thought it was going to be like a bit disappointing. 
Uh, rather than admit that I was wrong based on the reception to the film so far, instead I'm going to say you got to fire those the people that made the trailer. It's not me. I wasn't wrong. My radar is always right. You got you to gotta fire the people who made the trailer. They almost screwed you. They tricked me into thinking the movie would be bad. When actually, apparently, it's pretty good. How dare you? This, w this injustice will not stand. No, I haven't seen Green Knight yet. You realize, like, we're getting pretty close to being able to have, like, a, a movie night where you just watch movies that have night in them? Like, for example, we've already got, we got Green Knight. That would be one of the ones that I'm most looking forward to. There is Black Knight starring Martin Lawrence, which I saw as a, as a teenager. Not a good movie, but it fits. Night and Day starring Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. A Knight's Tale. Like, you could really, you could send it, man. Jurassic Park features Wayne Knight. Look, we'll, we'll hold that one in reserve, okay? I would rather use that for my dinosaur-themed uh, movie nights, which I do all the time, of course. Knight Rider. Oh, no. I was going to say they made a Knight Rider movie, didn't they? But then I realized I think it's actually just a reboot of the TV show. I think. They remade the TV show. Who's watching this shit? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean the... Like, I pay for cable, okay? So, like, this is all prefaced with the idea that I'm stupid. But, like, you ever see ads for, like, the newest show on Global? Which, uh, this is a Canada thing, but... And, uh, you know, like, that, that would be, like, ABC in America. And then just be like, who's watching? Who, who the hell is, like... Oh, shit, dude. New episode of Chicago Med comes out on Wednesday. Mark your calendar. Like, I just don't even... Who is out there... Watching, like, just endless shows? It's They're all about Chicago for some reason, too. I don't understand, like... Has this been noticed by other people? Does this make sense to you? Doubters in shambles. I'm, hey, I'm just playing it cool, please. Thanks. Screw you. Um, we gotta think about this. I do want to do an Eddie room, but my ex loved Fox's 911 series, and we would watch them at release. I will say, and th this is not uh, a lie, of any of them, uh, 911 is the most likely for me to watch because every single trailer just looks insane. Every single trailer is like, there's an enormous house fire at the dynamite factory. And then while they're responding to the house fire, they get a, a call that's like, this is dispatch. Uh, the meteor is going to hit the earth in 17 minutes. Please prepare. And then Rob Lowe's just like, mother of God. Like, they're, they're, they'll be responding to like a five alarm fire at a nuclear power plant and then a 9.0 earthquake or something like that will hit simultaneously. It, it actually seems like a, a made up show from Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And that, the, the, the idea of this appeals to me. The watching it at least. Dunk, da dunk. Okay, so we want. The, uh, give me the quarter, please. Watch it then. I, I I wouldn't be caught dead watching it. If I if I did it though, we would have found a secret room there. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta you gotta use your. You, you, we're very puzzled. Is it possible that our secret room could be to the left of our arcade? This is insanity. What was I thinking? <laughs> Who's the funniest character in Tropic Thunder? Hmm. I mean that like I know Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be a common one as Kirk Lazarus. Okay, maybe we wouldn't have found it there. 
Um, Tom Tom Cruise is another example. I honestly like I like the concept of Jack Black's character though. Like the the trailers, the fake trailers at the start of the movie that spoof like the Nutty Professor. What's it called? Like the the farts or something like that? Tutors. I can remember. This is a trivia question. The fatties. That's what it's called. It's so stupid. <laughs> Um, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, hold on. There's there's a lot here. There's a lot here. Just chill. Tropic Thunder, good movie. Possibly the funniest uh, blockbuster comedy of the of the two thousands decade. I'm trying to think of what else could be in the same category. Other guys is very good. Hangover one, look, people will deny it, but it is uh, it's it is is a product of his time, and it it was uh, it, it served a purpose at the time. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, look, it's a good movie. I M O, you know, I look, you're gonna turn me into this guy, okay? I um, what's what's the director's name? I like his stuff. But I, I'm not fully, like, sucked into the cults of uh, the nice guys, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Shane Black, yeah. IMO, his best movie, Iron Man 3, for sure. Please. We're so close. Meet the Spartans? <laughs> Come on now. Well, I guess we'll be leaving before this becomes uh, impossible. Hot Fuzz is, is also a great film. Hot Fuzz is also an amazing movie. What's wrong with my eyeballs, man? You see my eyeballs? I can't. I've been on this run for ten minutes already. I'm not doing anything. <clears throat> anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. I don't have time to watch anything. Stop watching me if I or stop asking me if I watched anything. The only thing I did see is I did watch uh, two thirds of You Don't Mess with the Zohan last night. I'd never seen it, and I thought it was you know appointment level viewing. Why? Because I'd never seen it before. Help me! <laughs> Just modestly scared. HP is very precious right now. It always is. How is it? I mean, honestly, it's pretty bad. I mean, I, people ask me, like, why I don't watch more thought-provoking stuff and, like, actually good movies more often. It's because, like, the only time I get to, uh watch things except for the occasional weekend day is when I'm uh, setting like YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that so I have to I mean it's better for me to just watch mindless garbage that I can kind of passively pay attention to as opposed to uh, you know oh hey have you ever considered uh, watching like Yodorowsky's Dune or something like that I'm like yeah I'm sure it's a great documentary don't get me wrong but uh, you know I can't really watch that and then go like this and then print screen and put it in the thumb and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it, it's more difficult to do that and then feel like I, I saw it. But um, I will say that while watching um, a little bit of you don't mess with the Zohan, I uh, I I googled just out of curiosity. You know, uh, I googled Adam Sandler movies ranked. Just to see, and it's not a definitive list, you know, it's just it was made by a writer at like Thrillist.com. And all I'm going to say is that the, you don't mess with the Zohan was like 9th of 44. And I thought it sucked horribly, which should give you an idea of what Adam Z uh, Sandler's filmography is like.
It was like number one, Punch Drunk Love. I disagree, but I'm not going to argue. I understand. Number two, Uncut Gems. That would probably be my number one. Uh, number three, I think, was Billy Madison. I forget some of the other. Number five, I think, was like Happy Gilmore. Um, the very bottom was Grown Ups 2. You know what actually threw me for the biggest loop? was uh, And Jack and Jill was second last. What, what threw me for a loop was that Hubie Halloween, which is an absolute like piece of garbage, was the exact median of the list. It was 20, well, it was close. It was 21 of 44. What? What is this mm, screenshot click? You won't believe this room? <laughs> My god. Now restock. Give me restock, please. I mean, we're buying we're buying it out. I don't hate uh like Adam Sandler as a human being. I just think like, you know. I mean, I, I don't even judge him as a human being, believe it or not. The only thing I'm going to say is that like I, I think many of us in the same situation as Adam Sandler would do the same thing. Which is you get the opportunity to like have a lot of fun with your friends and make a truly stupid amount of money doing it. Why wouldn't you, right? Ah, yes. Let's, let's go back and take Nose Goblin. Thank you. Thank you. Nose, nose goblin? It's, it's literally right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I can hate him for jealousy? Okay, sure. Yeah, fair enough. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me out! I just, uh, like, I, I, and I honestly, like, I find some of his stuff funny. It also, like, you me you don't mess with the Zohan. If you watch it now, it'll really remind you, like, how much the world has changed culturally in, like, the last 12 years. Like, there's a lot of stuff in that movie that has aged like milk. And you're like, it's not even old. Like, it came out when I was 21. Give me HP so we can play Eddie Rooms here. I have only seen Uncut Gems. I probably have the highest opinion of Adam Sandler in the world. We found the Chosen One. Oh, well, you know what? Nose Goblin's probably better anyway. Did it age like milk or was it messed up to begin with? Well, I mean, like, that you're basically putting me in a position where I have to answer that it was messed up to begin with, because if I don't answer that, then it seems like I harbor some fucked up opinion, some messed up opinions. Um, but, like, when I say something age like milk, what I mean is, like, the stuff that was said back then would not cause a stir in 2009, but would definitely be remarkable in the year 2021. Or probably the year 2014. To be honest, <laughs> it's not like the like it's it's a little bit I, I like you know whatever. It, yes, it was probably considered socially acceptable back then. I mean, they're jokes. I, w I wasn't offended. It was more like. I, you know, I, I did the classic thing where I was like, oh, somebody's going to be offended by this. I've never met them, but... Oh, Fast, by the way, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Doesn't he have intercourse with a grandma in that movie? Honestly, like, a, about 50% of the plot is just that he's not that great of a hairstylist, but he's an incredible lover. Um, so he... The reason that the business that he works for does so well is because he treats old ladies, um, you know, like they're, they're queens. Like they're the queens that they are.
and he yes, and he bangs them. So what? Jealous? Okay, a, a good item. Wait, one of these days, man. One of these days, we're gonna be able to play this Eddie room. All we need is a good assortment of red hearts. Or this pill could be full health. Shot speed down. I'm not going. I'm not going for the Eddie room yet. They're gonna give us one more. He bangs. He bangs. Oh baby. Honestly, uh, second best. Ricky Martin song. Best Ricky Martin song, not Livin' La Vida Loca. It's uh, Shake Your Bomb Bomb. In my opinion. <laughs> That's simply untrue? What are you talking about? It's a great song! I'm a desperado underneath your window. I see a silhouette. Are you my Juliet? I feel a mad connection with your body. Shake your bonbon, bon, shake your bonbon, bon, shake your bonbon. Bon. Can you believe it in that song? He says, uh. I'm. Wait, what does he say? I'm in the Himalayas. Come on, I wanna lay ya, or something like that. We'll go around the world in a day. <laughs> shake a boom, bam, oh, shake a boom, bam, shake a boom. How do you recall the lyrics to that? Is this back in the day when music television actually played music, which is not good. In the in the 80s, music television played music and it was good. Then in the 90s and the 2000s, they kept playing music, but like after Kurt Cobain died, all the music freaking sucked. So they were just playing dog shit all day, and all the lyrics have been seared into my brain. You're such a sexy, sexy, pretty little thing, and that's because you got me sprung with your tongue ring. I ain't gonna lie, your love and keeps me high to keep you by my side. There's nothing that I won't try. Butterflying in my eye and the looks to kill. Time has passed and I'm asking, can this be real? Cause I can't sleep, I can't hold still. The only thing I really know is you got sex appeal. I can feel. Too much is never enough. And then sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when your time gets rough. Anyway, like, it's just, it was merciful when MTV just started playing, oh, look at that, started playing, uh, Rob Drydeck's, uh, ridiculousnessness over and over. That put us, took us out of our misery. It's Deer Dick. I, I think he's got a dry deck, man, personally. Okay, this is good. Strength card? That's good. We're rolling. Go get it. You mean Tosh 3.0? That's pretty good. That's a funny joke. What was I talking about? Oh, music television. Yeah. Anyway, like, it sucked. The end. Ricky Martin, though? He's kind of cool. I got nothing against Ricky Martin. You got something against Ricky Martin? Then, you, you know, honestly, you got a problem with Ricky Martin? You got a problem with me. How else will I hear Summer Girls 20 times a day? Are you talking about New Kids on the Block had a bunch of hits? Chinese food makes me sick, and I think it's fly when a girl stops by for the summer? Or are you talking about the Beck song that goes like, Hey, my summer girl, hey. That's, now that's a song, man. That's every Beck song? Um, no, Beck, Beck has two songs. Well, three songs. Uh, melodic pseudo-pop, like Girl and, and E-Pro. Uh, deliberately bad rapping. With uh, chock full of non-sequiturs. I'm choking on the splinters! Uh, and then... Sad song that's actually good, i.e. like, you know... Sea Change. Wait, Sea Change is the album. You know the one I'm talking about. Maybe it is called Sea Change. 
Either way, he's choking on the splinter. His best stuff is Odalay? Well, yes, no. I mean, I don't dispute this. Devil's haircut, where it's at? The, the new pollution? Okay, we're done. Just give me, like, a, an item, please. Wow, that's actually... You've damaged me. It was nothing to do with my own gameplay. You've damaged me. Like Jared Leto's Joker. That was a good banter break. It's not over yet. <laughs> Where's the... <laughs> we got... There's nothing going on. Like, we, we're we gonna win the run. That's not even a contest, but... Just, like... Would it, would it kill you to give me some... Good items? Did you ever listen to his song from Gorillaz? With Gorillaz from last year? I don't know that I heard a single song that came out in the year 2020. Oh, that w I was quoting that was a good drum break. I understand now. I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely thinking about it. I don't know if I heard a song that came out last year. What was like the most popular song of 2020? Not online, but in, in Normie Town. There we go. Like, I feel like I, I could have heard... Um, some Dua Lipa, but I don't know if that came out last year. Chug Jug with you? Okay, I have heard, um, WAP. Is Blinding Lights the one that goes, Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. Is that... My time? My time? It is that song. Okay, I know both of those songs then. Dyn okay, I do know... Well, I, you know what? I don't know if I know Dynamite by BTS. I definitely know Butter by BTS. I'm sure, I'm sure I've probably heard it. You'd be stunned at the amount of K-pop I know, but do not know the words to. Well, obviously, but like do not know the name of. Sometimes, you know, we'll be like driving. Kate will put on K-pop. I know the melody to every song. I'm like, I've heard this song 20 times, but I... Could not tell you who it's by or or what it's called. I know I know some BTS. I know the song "Alcohol Free." I don't remember who it's by at all. And then everything else, I know the melody completely. But that's by Twice. See, I'm hip. I'm with it. Taka 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 taka. My my game, my game. What the heck happened? <laughs> my game. My game. That wasn't even like... Nothing was going on. It just... It just hitched up, man. Okay, we'll start over. From Necropolis XL. Oh, and now I've ruined my deal with the devil. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Really helpful. Thanks Thanks again. Sure your PC's up to this? Sure your PC's up to this, champ? Crash it again? Usually I don't have to put too much extra sauce on it to get it to crash, so... There is a K-pop song, I apologize. Again, please keep in mind, by Boomer standards, I'm very pro-K-pop. I lived in South Korea, for one. Um, can I switch Rage on this room? I'm not dead, look at that. Um, and I, I listen to a bunch, you know, my wife likes K-pop a lot. That being said, there is one song that I heard that I couldn't stop laughing. Um, I forget what it's called, but it goes a something about oop, boop, boop, and then it sounds. I swear to God, it sounds because the next part's in English. It sounds like he says, "Can I take a piss on stage?" And it just gets me every single time. 
I, I think, I don't know what he's saying. It might be like, can I get a kiss on stage or something? But it really sounds like, gonna take a piss on stage. And I'm like, holy crap. The, <laughs> the K-pop industry has changed a lot since I, uh, since I lived there. There's your item. Yeah, the mom's underwear. Thank you. In the words of Chib? Yeah, so what if it's piss? It means something. <laughs> mm. Ain't got nothing to do with piss. Greatest single ever produced, in your opinion? I don't know, that's tough. I mean, like, what is the greatest single? Is it the greatest song that ever got released to radio? Or are we looking at the band that released the greatest single but never had, like, you know, the, the rest of their catalog is kind of like doo-doo? Because, like, if, if we're talking about that, things get mighty interesting. Because I think Fancy is, like, a great song. The rest of Iggy Azalea's uh, <laughs> catalog is, is laughably bad. <laughs> it's just so horrible. <laughs> I remember, I was listening to, this is like a year and a half ago, I, I only know like one Iggy Azalea song at this time in my life, right? So, you know, Fancy came on, and then I like hit the, the like button or something, you know, more like this. And then I played another Iggy Azalea song that was like, I'm his new bitch or something like that. And I was like, this lady's vile. She's, she's just, this is just disgusting. <laughs> Fancy isn't good either? Shut the frick up. Wrong. Turns pickups and items in the room into coins. Coins coin values are equal to their shop value? What the hell does that even mean? Coin values are equal to their shop value. <laughs> coin values are... Oh, so it turns all pickups into coins. I see. That become, they, they equal the monetary value of what they would cost on the shop. That's interesting. Should have used it on Boss Rush, that's a joke. <laughs> you are the center of a protractor. It's a bit of a slow one. I still have, I got a lot of hope though. I got a lot of hope. What do you think of Azalea Banks? Um, you mean Rob's uh, classmate? I have no opinion on Azalea Banks. I, I only know that she exists. I'm, I'm being very real with you. I have a pretty like just in terms of the the volume of it, I have a very limited opinion of just about any piece of music that's come out since the year 2010. I have not listened to anything. Like some that people, I, they, I, my favorite line of reasoning now is they go like, you know, have you listened to Donda yet? And then I go, I haven't listened to a Kanye West album since 2010. And then they go, oh, you're an old head? And I'm like, no, actually, like, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is, like, literally one of the most recent albums I've ever listened to. It's probably within the most, like, the 20 most contemporary albums that I've listened to in, in, in my life. The fact that he's released, like, six albums since then is crazy to me. Just skip Jesus is King. I've I'm skipping them all. It's not out of like a. It's not that I don't like them. It's just I'm full. I'm still I'm I'm working through the back catalog. Not of Kanye's back catalog. I mean like of, of Planet Earth. <laughs> Didn't you listen to Mouth Dreams recently? Yeah, it like a year ago, like the day my child was born. I did listen to Mouth Dreams. 
And that's probably the most recent piece of music I deliberately listened to. I, I do wish that they would stop making music until I caught up. I'm also not making an effort to catch up. At all. But I would just like them to stop. If possible. So just stop making... Yeah, just stop making music. Like, we're full. I, at some point, aren't we done? You know, like, at, at some point, we've ripped all the oil, like, out of the ground, you know? Isn't it the same with music? Like, haven't we arranged every possible word into every possible arrangement of chords ever? Like, all the notes... Are, wait, there's only, like, 30 notes, right? Like, how many possible combinations could that be? Thirty notes. Yeah, I mean that thirty is generous. Almost every song just goes like you know. No, I don't want it to end yet. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sure. Stop making five videos a day? Okay, give me a million dollars. That's all I've been... I'm, I've, this is all just... Uh, basically... A, 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 a song and dance with the attempt to convince somebody to donate a million dollars to me. Once that happens, I will be happy to... Uh, take your advice and leave forever. <laughs> And don't give me a book that says how to make a million dollars. There's already many of those out there. It's got to be like 500 million or bust. Dinner with Jay-Z. Here's the thing. I bet I got more money than Jay-Z. Compared to me, Jay-Z is lazy. Plus, Beyonce thinks that I'm cute. It's okay, Beyonce. I think you're cute, too. I bet you sleep with a night light. Because you're scared of the dark. Because you stink like a fart. Well, light your fart on fire with my rhymes. <laughs> you think I won't? I do it all the time. What a song, man. You know what? I've decided it's like It's a Wonderful Life, right? Oh, oh, it's a wonderful life. Oh, oh, Night of the Roxbury, anybody? Anyway, um, you know, I was like, I, want, I wish music never existed. And then they were like, well, you'd never ha know uh, The Baddest by Krispy Kreme then. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm glad music exists. Controversial opinion, some music is not that bad. Let me in. Let me in. Whatever, hit me. <laughs> Frick. Just give me the angel deal here. Like, we earned it, man. What's your favorite sitcom intro song? I mean, so much of that is, is by, um, you know, it's like nostalgia, right? And I refuse to be beholden to the whims of yesteryear. I think agnostic, um, the era with which I grew up and thus have unmitigated nostalgia for, the the best theme song is definitely um, for for a show ever. It's the Rockford Files. For a sitcom, I really think you gotta give some some props to uh, Welcome Back, Cotter, starring John Travolta. But can I tell you that... Oh, you know what? That girl is also up there. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. Walking along on a wind and a prayer. Who could it be? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not home. Great, great song. Um, nice shoulders. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, we got super lucky here. Um, and then, like, I, this is not, like, necessarily my pick. But you gotta give some serious respect to, like, the America's Funniest Home Videos theme song. It did not have any reason to go that hard. Like, it, they, if they made that show in 2020, it would just be like... And then, you know... There you go. But in, in the 1990s, they're like... America! America! This is you! The original This is America. This is America. And... Dad falling off a roof. Kid not holding his baseball bat firm enough. During his backswing, let's go of the baseball bat, hits dad in the nutsack. This show was really, like, if they, the alternate working title for This Is America, or sorry, for, for America's Funniest Home Videos, was really just like, dad's getting fucked up. <laughs> it was just... Fathers holding like $2,500 0 0.25 megapixel cameras that probably weighed like 80 pounds and just getting physically abused by like their own children, animals, mother nature. Like it, it was just watching like a middle aged man who was six schlitzes deep like slip and fall on the ice and probably cause like a chronic back injury that still bothers him to this day. It's a lot of great theme songs from back in the day, man. I mean, the Rockford Files theme song, that seems like the kind of thing I, I could actually get DMCA'd for. How's James Garner? Is he like litigious? But the Rockford Files theme song, oh my god, dude, it squams to a degree. Like, I, I wanna... I want... You know, I bet we could 2 exit One moment, please, here. Just give it a sec. You, you gotta open and then just play it at 2x, okay? Ring, 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 ring. It starts with a nice phone call and then, oh man. This is 1.5x. Just give it a sec. Are you hearing this? Like how how can you not You wanna you wanna you can you you wanna you Like this is it's 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 like three minutes long too it's got a harmonica solo, it's got an electric guitar solo, it's got squams. <laughs> it's got everything, man. It's like, uh, um, what, what's the band that sings Flirting with Disaster? Molly Hatchet. It's like, it's Molly Hatchet mixed with Blues Traveler. It gets the people going. Squam, 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 Oh, man. It's the next TikTok meme song? I don't know about that. I gotta start making TikToks again. No, you don't. Yes, I do. True Detective theme song? It's a good song. It, it doesn't have any squams in it, though. I love a, I love a good squam, man. I want Just Like Heaven to be the next song revived by meme culture. Well, you just need Weezer to do a cover of it, right? Just Like Heaven is actually like... I mean, this is a horrible episode if you... I, I love that I've cultivated an audience of like... Uh, it, the audience is a Venn diagram. There's a, an overlap and the overlap's high. But then there's like people who started watching me in like 2010. Who were like, I love his erudite banter when he thought he was smart and took himself too seriously. And then the other half is like, I like when streamer goes off the rails. Thankfully, there's a nice little sandwich in the middle. But the group that is like, I love the part where he talks about like philosophy is going to hate this shit. Um, this poop. But 
Regardless, I mean, when someone says, just like heaven by the cure, how can you not go like, Okay, I'm stopping, but anyway, great, uh, great song though. Ooh, great song. Yeah, Weezer, don't touch it, okay? Rivers, haven't you done enough damage? You trying to ruin the whole damn decade? Yoink. Weezer doesn't have the squams. Oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so you know what's happening is that like... Don't buy Birthright as a Zazel. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. Continue. La -da -da -da. Or sorry, as uh, as Tainted Samson. Don't don't buy uh, don't buy Birthright as Tainted Samson. Because sometimes when you switch back from uh, from Rage, it goes crazy. If you ever had a song that you that you want you. Imagine thinking, like, first off, Photoshop is not open, for one, because I've had to restart my computer, like, 20 times. Imagine seeing Repentance crash and being like, oh, what did you do to cause this? This game, it just crashes, man. It's like you're, you're back in the Middle Age. Not the Middle Ages. I mean, like, when you're middle-aged. Sometimes you just wake up and it's like, I'm broke today. If I die, I'm going to I mean, I'm going to pay out the doubters, but I'm going to be uh, very upset about it. Cuz we were we were riding on a on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? But this time I get my butt kicked. Oh, right, we have the wafer. Never mind. We're we're straight chilling. Del the fun funky homo sapien is chilling. NL, have you been working out? No, it's just a shirt that is like a height or tight in the shoulder region. I'm, I'm just being completely sincere. Like, clothes, clothes make the man. I've been going on a lot of walks lately, but I don't... <laughs> I think it's just the shirt that fits right. Please, just more HP. We're rebuilding. Not this. Oh, we we sneezed as we as we pivoted again. That's how we, if we get low on HP, you basically get like a forget me now. If you just sneeze when you come out of range or rage. Thank you. Please, please. Please! Have you ever been... Have you ever had a dream? Have you ever been super angry and sneezed? It'll it'll crash you in IRL too? Um, I don't know if I've ever had an angry sneeze. I know I'm getting older because I, I said something... That this was true, by the way. Um, I had never sneezed while driving. And it was so peculiar to me. Um, because I was like, man, it's like a sneeze is like half involuntary, half voluntary. That was my theory, at least. Because, like, when you're doing something important, like, you ever think, like, a bomb diffuser is ever like, oh, hold on a sec, uh, chew. I don't see it happening. That being said, a few uh, times this year, I have sneezed while driving. And I was like, getting old. It is terrifying, though.
just for that. Yeah, everything else is going okay. Saved. That was a bullshit humble brag about not having allergies. You caught me. I was just looking for a, a reason to brag about not having allergies. But I was like, oh, if I just come out and say I don't have allergies, it looks like really like disingenuous. Like, oh, you're just trying to flex, you know? Always talk, oh, weird flex. So instead I concocted like a weird story with a punchline attached to it in order to like get across the idea that I don't have allergies, but make it look like there was like a plausible reason for it. So true. Now everybody out there is like, God, this guy doesn't have allergies. And I can't even be mad about it because it was just an ancillary aspect to the story. It's the art of the deal. Don't crash. Give me this. Don't crash. We'll fight Mega Satan. We'll win. It's over. He's had data miner the entire run. It's because it sucks. Angry Nintendo nerd? It's a piece of dog doo-doo wrapped in bull diarrhea. You know what's bullshit? Parking tickets. Customers only. How about you suck on a bull's frozen diarrhea popsicle doo-doo? We got five luck. I'm, I'm giving it a chance here. Who made this? <laughs> it was a different time. You're not wrong. It was a different time. You can just walk over it. What is who made this from? It's from the angry Nintendo nerd. I don't know if you know this, but he's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. I got nothing against James Rolfe. I'm just, it's just funny. I mean, I was watching those videos too. Who wasn't? Don't talk to me. Hey, hey! You know he still makes videos? Yeah, but like, I, in the same way, like, I don't listen to music, I don't really, like, watch that much YouTube. Just, like, the same 17 videos about, like, the 4% rule over and over. I honestly agree. I think those videos should be in the Library of Congress. I Nine golden bombs! Eight maids are milking seven, lords are leaping six, geese are laying five golden bombs! Four golden bombs, three golden bombs, two golden bombs, and a golden bomb inside a gold bomb. What a song. You know be a funny prank? What if you went to karaoke and played 99 uh, bottles of uh, beer on the wall? And you just kept it going. You would be knocked out. No one at karaoke is knocking me out. I'm not, like, that tough. I'm just saying. Have you seen the kind of people at karaoke? <laughs> no one's throwing... No one's successfully throwing hands at karaoke. That's. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not saying there's never been a fight at a karaoke bar. I'm merely suggesting. I'm not. I'm not overly concerned about it. there was one, you'd win it? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. kind of feel like the kind of person who's 
life is screwed up enough that they would throw hands at karaoke has a lot less to lose than I do. And that gives them like a psychological advantage. Uh, I would I would simply try to remove myself from the situation, I think. Do you think you would do well in completing a lyric game show? I really do, but there is one noted exception. Songs from 2010 to 2021. I would, I, I got nothing when it comes to that. But honestly, like 1960 to 2010, I put myself in, let's just say sub elite category. I don't, I wouldn't say I'm goaded, but I would say I'm, I'm in the conversation to make maybe like a second team all-star. I think I could be a good addition to your team. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. I just wanna do the run. <laughs> I just wanna do the run. <laughs> The crash is due to Berserk and Blood Cough. I, that makes sense. I, I'm just mad. Well, I guess we don't have to do... I mean, we, you know what? We could go back for the Golden Bombs. If it closed the door, I would have... I would have... Become a cow at a trash farm. This is like... I mean, honestly, I feel like there should be a subsidy for the Believers here. And I'm being a little sincere. Because basically, we've, we're have we now looking at, like, 4x belief. Where, like, we're about to win, and then the doubters are like, no thank you. You could just refund the bet. Tell me you're a doubter without telling me you're a doubter. Oh, wait. Anyway, yeah, I think I would be good on that game show. Bro, I'm still, like, reeling over Proto Bowl, like, feeding me my own teeth. Now, I'm, I'm intellectually, like, eating through a straw. Realizing that there's, like, middle school uh, kids out there that are... Uh, better at trivia than I am. Probably got better haircuts, too. Who would have thought that a Tainted Samson podcast... <laughs> this Freudian slip. Who would have thought a Tainted Samson run could be this long? I mean, it's 43 minutes on paper. And it, you know what? It sucks because, like, I can't, uh... I... When I go into... Assuming the sneeze is what breaks it. It's hard not to sneeze when you're in Berserk because you're mashing the crap out of the button to make Berserk as worth it as possible. Which causes you to double tap the sneeze. New bit, what if the Isaac characters had podcasts? I think you can't, Isaac characters, they're all the same IMO. Um, put that in your game theory and smoke it, Matt Pet. What if, what if my colleagues had podcasts? You know, Mathis already does. His podcast is about aliens. But like, if it's, it's so easy. If Malf had a podcast, it would be about gardening. If Apollo had a podcast, it would be about Grubhub. Or Among Us. <laughs> 
I don't know what my podcast will be about. That's my problem. I, I'm such a renaissance man. I have so many uh, diverse interests that I, I wouldn't feel comfortable constricting me to a theme. Evangelion? <clears throat> oh, yeah, the football podcast. That's right. Forgot about the football podcast. Can I say first off, I'm I'm super stoked that they're not only doing the podcast, but like still running it three or four years later. But you know me, I gotta add a little spice to it, okay? The spice that I'm gonna add is I really wish they just changed the name. Like three guys in a bear talk about football. It's just we 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 gotta take a ch you know what it is it's like when twitch released the tier three emotes and then several of the same people to subvert the trend we're like we're gonna make tier three emotes but it's just gonna be like a square to be like haha we're above this like that's how i feel about the podcast name three guys in a bear talk about football you got to come up with something like, why don't you call it the long snappers or something like that? Mm. Saved? They got him? He died? Saved? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still alive. I don't know. Twitch had some problems, maybe? Oh, you didn't, you didn't see the... <laughs> we made it. You hacker. Yeah, Twitch has been weird today, but hey, check it out. Look at that. A successful run. Even though we, we did just have a, a Donkey Kong kill screen with a frame skip. Pay out the believers. And then, like, remove this run from my memory forever. And then we're going to just run it back, honestly. Slash marker... Casino one. I'm telling you, man, they could call it Long Snappers. I think that would be a great name for a football podcast. 